Hello students, your instructor here, John Mandula, with another screencast. This one, a student had asked, how can I make a hockey puck in Adobe Illustrator? A number of different ways to do this, but we're just going to do one way that I think will be an efficient way and also give you a, a lot of custom control over it. So to start, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use black as my foreground color, no stroke. Grab my ellipse tool, if you don't see it, it's going to be under your rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a perfect circle, oh, about like this, let's say. Let's move that over here. And then what I'm going to do is go to Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel. And I see a number of different options here. And first thing I'm going to do is click Preview. This will allow me to see a preview of the hockey puck that I'm making. And I'm going to twist it and I'm only looking at the wireframe when I twist this right now and that's okay. Um, say I want it that angle like this. I can adjust the extrude depth a little bit if I want it to be a little thicker. I'm not a hockey expert so I'll leave that up to you all as you create these. Um, another thing is that the surface I want plastic shading, that's what I want. But then the shading color is black. I want to set this to custom just off the screen here. And when I set custom, I get a color swatch. I'm going to click on that color swatch. And I don't want red, obviously. I'm going to just go in here and zero out all of these, except for black. I'm going to make 50. It'll give me a nice middle gray color. As you can see already, uh, it's taking some um, it's taking some of the gray in there. It's going to look good. And I can add some more lights to this. This is where I was talking about control. So I can move this light around if I want to, to try to manipulate things. Let's say I move it way down here, to the bottom, that, this is going to help me get you know, the shine or highlight right there, and I can amplify this. I can also make the blend steps a little more, like around 50 or so. And I mean, I can change a lot of things. I'm just going to add some more lights here by clicking on the new button. I'll set this to even 50. And that looks pretty good. And I'm not going to worry too much about the top of the puck. I'll do something later to fix that. And if I feel that this gray is not dark enough, I can, of course, just go back and make the gray darker. But I'll leave it like this for now. If it gets too black, it's kind of hard to see any definition. So I've got this, and I'll hit OK. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work off a copy of it for the next thing. Because in case if I don't like what I do with it, I'll still have this editable 3D one to go to. So I'm just going to drag a copy over. I'm using Alt for that. Or options for the Mac. So now that I've got this, go to Object, expand the appearance. So what it's done is it's made um, shapes out of these things. So basically, this one shape is comprised of many little bands, and this one is just a circle. Then what I'm going to do is with the white arrow tool, it has to be the white arrow tool because it's part of a group now. So Alt and Shift and drag this up. Then I'm going to give it a gradient of radial. Which I don't want it right there. That looks terrible. I'm going to grab my gradient tool, and it's going to go from just off the edge to well past the edge, something like that. Alright, so I've got that. I'm just going to set this down. It should kind of snap into place, so to speak. And this is a little bit too bright, so I'm just going to go to my transparency and set the opacity to something like 50. Nope, that's not working. So I can try something like screen, set the opacity down it's predominantly black or something like overlay and I just experiment with this until I get the desired effect that I want. This actually overlay looks pretty good right there at 100%. So now this hockey puck has a lot of dimension going on. And again, you can tweak it just the way you want for the lighting to make the most sense. Um, so that's a hockey puck. Now let's say I didn't want that is my hockey puck, because now this is finished, I can't edit the 3D qualities. I can go back to this one though, and I can edit the 3D qualities. And to do that, I'm not going to go to Window, 3D, Extrude and Bevel, because I'll see this warning, it'll apply another instance of the effect, and I certainly don't want that, so I'll hit Cancel. I go to my Appearance panel. If I don't have this, I go to Window Appearance, and then I click on this. Click Preview. And now I can do things like, you know, twist the puck around, or what have you. And I can start from there with my different options. So hopefully this has helped you to create a hockey puck in Adobe Illustrator.